all this. Uh, Stay there, Lev. Stay I, I, there. I, Nobody I, can hear you, Lev. Lev, you have no microphone on. Okay. Lev, I love your hairdo. <laughs> I mean, your, your hairdo makes Al Sharpton look like a conservative. Right, right. I have passed a copy of two pages from Dr. Klein's book about the CIA. I did it sort of, you know, just for him to check that I'm quoting him fairly. Right? Very good. Scholarly precaution. So he says, one of oh, the CIA's... What in the hell is this? Sesame Street? We're going to start reading books? Just a second. You don't waste time. Tell, tell him. I want, so, I want a request to not bother to quote my book. book. Just plug the book. Tell him to sell it. Very good. That's what TV shows are for. Yes. Not this one. I don't one sell books. One of the CIA's greatest coups, or coup of coups. all times, <laughs> occurred in the spring of 1956. And this is the acquisition of Khrushchev's secret speech, right? Right. It's fair. Listen this closely is, to this, because I don't understand listen, the thing that's this going is on. The scoop, uh, this is the greatest scoop, this is the greatest coup of the CIA. All right, let's hear it, for God's yeah. sakes, do it. Khrushchev's speech. Let me tell you something, you make love this slow, pal. You're okay. Khrushchev's speech was printed in two million copies. Thank it you. was read to the entire adult population of the Soviet Empire. It was read in Eastern Europe everywhere. It was on the black market in Warsaw for seven zloty. Yeah. And those people, the CIA, <laughs> say that this is the greatest coup right, let me of espionage. Let me hear the greatest wait, wait. coup. Go ahead, Ray. Yeah. Because I haven't coup, understood a thing. I, I don't understand yeah. much he's saying either. Uh, but uh, I'll tell you, uh, the speech was widely available among the communist officials in Eastern Europe, but that doesn't have anything to do with it. We didn't it have it. We didn't have it in this country. It was available Lev. among the no, entire Lev, excuse population. Me. No, Lev, no, that's Lev. That's Lev, baby, you sweetheart. Know I, I saw it. Lev. I, I held well, it. Well, you're not the entire population, for Christ's sake. Uh, anyone, anyone could take it for several days well, to read it. It, took it us was generally available. There were two million copies printed. Hey, and you see, call it the question. greatest coup in the history question. of espionage. Uh, and what, you the... what else you, you require? <laughs> Has I'm done. The Boris CIA. baby here, all right? He's a former CIA agent, as I explained earlier, infiltrated the KGB in Western Europe, rose to the rank of major. In escaping from Russia once, he was shot in the stomach five times, but killed his assailant. He was shot two years ago in Washington, D.C., in a shopping center by a poison dart. He's moved 12 times in the last 10 years. That's no big deal. I've moved more than that. <laughs> His best friend was ordered to kill him. That's happened to me, too. <laughs> Spent uh, years in World War II prison camps. Okay. He penetrated the KGB outpost. Hey, wait, I, I, you must talk to me so I understand what the hell you are saying. <laughs> Tell me, Boris, slowly. There is a big difference. Tell me slowly, pal. What did he do in an outpost? He penetrated. He penetrated. A KGB outpost. A KGB outpost. That not, dirty thing. Not, not, this, <laughs> not the strategic core of the Soviet Empire, which the CIA has never penetrated. Ray, is that true? Have we ever penetrated the secret core? Uh, we, I don't know. We have penetrated yes, the we have secret penetrated. core mm -hmm. a number of times. But I must say, if we have friends like this, we don't need enemies. Uh, oh. They don't, this guy doesn't know what this happened to the CIA. Mort, and Mort, he's, if, he's if it shooting be... his mouth off. Right. And you shouldn't do that. You have been deceiving the United States, and you're accusing me of being an enemy. You, you are... are the worst enemy of the United States. That's a lot and of horse. And more correctly, exactly. Come on, that's a lot of horse. And Churchill, that it is better to is have there, no intelligence is there, agency. Is there any or serious purpose really to this show, Donnie? Do you want to hear some Is there any topic that you know, I know well? I want to know why you keep condemning the fact that we have a CIA. Actually, what you are doing? No, what excuse you are doing? Me, no, excuse, excuse me. No, you excuse me. I am no, uh, you excuse me, pal. All right. What you are doing is a great service. 
is a great service. All right. Because if Mort. we can have a lot of people like you going around saying we have no CIA, especially people with Russian accents, maybe the Russians will be lulled into sleep and we can even have a better CIA. Alok, Alok, pal. Don't push me, pal. I don't dig Russians. I don't dig them. I don't trust Khrushchev. I don't trust anyone right. with a Russian accent from Russia, pal. Oh. 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 Mort, since I am in the now, subject... let me hear Boris a second. Let me hear Boris. Just close his microphone accent. off, please. Because close his microphone. Obviously, Mort, obviously, yeah. Mort. Uh, will you kindly calm him down? Uh, Mort, since I'm the object of this, this, this hot discussion, let me put a couple of my pennies into that. Do them quickly. Okay, very quickly. If Mr. Um, uh, what's your name, sir? Navrozov. If Mr. Navrozov uh, has seen too many James Bond movies, he's wrong. <laughs> that is not exactly how intelligence works. Intelligence operative, he is like a bricklayer. And there are many bricklayers building this house called Strong and Secure America. You put small bricks, insignificant, gray in color. Unfortunately, on top apparently of each some other. of the bricks went into his head. And even in the outpost, even the little outpost is very significant. You are a cheap demagogue, sir. Mister, if you... Right, right, right. Mr. Navrozov, you remind me a lady of a name Ogorodnikova. You know, she also claimed, you know, to be as smart as you are. <laughs> she also had the same accent, and eventually we busted her, haven't if, we, for spying? If anyone with a Russian accent is a spy by definition, no. No, most then, of the Russians then this I is self-insulation. Most of the Russians I know, and I know many of them. Now, they now, are good Americans. They love may, this country. May, may show they have this, something to compare, you know, this country this with the Soviet me, Union. Show this photograph. Mr. Moore, Mr. Sir, you don't know a damn thing what you're talking about. I'm sorry. <laughs> let, me, let me go to Boris. Let me go to a Boris a second. Aspect. Let me go, Lev. Lev, do, let do, me go to do Boris. Do you recognize this man? Let's talk about what CIA yes, and FBI yes, do. Yes, oh, boy. Let's talk about something uh, real. Yeah, no, not we, what you're, talking, not the we are nonsense. talking about the CIA. No, no nonsense. Do you well, let's find out about time. the CIA. Let's find out just a second. Boris, let me come back to you, all right? right. Were you a CIA operative? I was a CIA operative. Did you work in Europe? Yes, I worked in Europe. Did you or did you not infiltrate the KGB? Yes, I did. By the way, I what have something to show you. What was your KGB rank? Let me show you. What was your KGB rank? I was a major. Mort, right. this is a badge of the KGB. One of the few existing around. Mm -hmm. Is that yours? Yes. What do you like badge to for the KGB. I guess during the holiday season, you uh, don't get too many greeting cards from your friends? No, no. You see, you pay for this work that I have done and many thousands like, like me. We don't have friends visiting my house because we are living in a place that nobody knows. My children go to school and live in T.O. boxes, officially. They never play with other children. I paid my price for freedom. I pay my price for... Lev, let me tell you for something. My, the CIA American doesn't is. exist. The fact that we've got people like this who are willing to put their lives and their family on the line good, is a great benefit good, to the country. The gentleman is heroic, but what I'm saying is that the strategic... No, you are strategic heroic that you came here. Let me finish. The strategic core of the Soviet Empire has not been penetrated. The CIA and Western intelligence agencies in general has never, has never had a single proper intelligence agent within the infrastructure, within the strategic infrastructure of the Soviet Empire. All right, that's let me go to true. John that's Good. That's not true. That's you right. don't know. True. Why the hell he do you keep proof. saying that he when you proof. don't know? You don't know. Oh, I, I know. Don't know. I know. I worked I, in this government for I, I, 31 years, yes, and I know and I what know happened. 1, have you ever been an agent? Have, you? You? have you ever been an I, agent? I read your book. Have you ever been an agent? You're an amateur. Have you ever been an agent? <laughs> have, you, sir? have you ever been an agent? <laughs> no. Are you and I don't an want to. No, and I do not want to. Why? I'm a scholar. Why don't you want to? I'm a student of the CIA. You're a student of the CIA. Yes. Obviously, You're sir, you good job for the KGB, right? Let me introduce, let me introduce.